Hi great people, welcome again to my YouTube channel, I'm Martin Unix and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to do invisible fishtail braid. So guys, if you have not subscribed into my channel, can you kindly hit the braid button at the bottom, make sure your bell is on so that you can get notifications every time I load in any new content on my channel. Welcome guys. So this is our locking gel guys from Roots. Beauty world. You will realize that uh, it's a loose gel. So guys, uh, I like using the loose gel, and uh, I'm gonna highlight the reasons. Because uh, we usually say that uh, more retouches, more control. So you should ensure that you retouch your hair each and every month. And this is the reason, guys. Your hair grows approximately quarter inch per month. So guys, because kinky hair naturally locks itself within six to eight weeks, it's important to do your hair. Or else, it's advisable you retouch it before the new growth locks on its own. That way, you avoid the lumps and bumps on your locks that can happen when you stay longer. That is two or more months without a retouch. So, the new growth ends up locking in a puppy state before it can be interlocked. So guys, you can see, <coughs> I've already started my, now it's, so guys, I'm, I'm starting my invisible fishtail braid. And the reason why I'm calling it invisible is that uh, the struts, you'll realize that uh, they will be protruding from underneath the, the style unlike the, the visible one whereby the strands comes from outside the style so in this case the strands will be protruding from underneath now that's the difference between the invisible and visible one so to continue tipping you guys uh, uh, I had said that uh, I like using this gel because it, it, it gives a loose retouch. Eh? So, doing a loose retouch works best when the retouches are con consistent. A loose retouch is ideal for skull and roots health. When you strain your roots with a tight retouch, it will usually lead to thinning. A loose retouch is when you can see that the hair is certainly neater than it, it was before. <coughs> A loose retouch, guys, is when you can see that uh, the hair is certainly neater than it was before you, you, you did the retouch but uh, there is still some growth between the interlocked part and your scalp so you should not be in any pain nor should you should your head feel uncomfortably tight So guys, as, uh, as we do our style, there are so many factors to take into consideration. That is, uh, you should avoid tension at all, as well as uh, observing neatness.
inconsistency with the volume of your logs. So to ensure that uh, your logs stay healthy, you should ensure enough moisture. You should moisturize them because uh, through this you prevent them from thinning because thinning is caused by dryness. You will also prevent your scalp from dandruffs by keeping your scalp fresh. In line with that, you also encourage faster growth, hair growth that is. Then your hair becomes highly strengthened and uh, you minimize the breakages as well. So guys, you can see our, our style is already taking shape. So we have to ensure that the old strands come from underneath to make it uh, invisible. So guys, for more tips, eh, I need to highlight that uh, in order to prevent thinning, thinning of your strands, you need to keep your hair highly moisturized because moisture keeps your logs healthy. Then, you also need to to apply some oil because uh, oil seals in, in the moisture uh, that's extending the benefits for for some hours eh? it's also important to note that uh, oil also gives your hair important nutrients that uh, makes it shiny and beautiful So guys, consistency is the key.
So guys, retouching your locks is very important if you want them to grow straight without developing lumps and spaces. And if you you want to maintain a neat professional appearance. So guys, the key to note is that uh, we advocate for decently tight retouches, not the super tight retouch. So guys, now we are almost. Actually guys, this is kind of tedious, tedious process. But uh, you need to keep uh, your neatness on toes as well as balancing the ornaments or rails uh, beads if there are any on your locks. Make Make sure that you expose them just for beauty. Don't leave them from underneath. So make sure they come on top. Just for decorative purpose. So guys, I'm almost done. Now guys at the finishing part I will do a style known as barrel twist. That, that is, uh, I love to do some two strands just uh, to manage my space and ensure that uh, everything fits where it's supposed to be. So kindly guys subscribe to my channel, like my work, comment positively and share to your friends so that they can learn something as well. There are more content to come guys. So you, you need also to, to ensure that your, your, your bell is on. So you need to click the, the bell just for notification. To get notifications whenever I load a new video on my timeline. So that's the barrel twist, guys. I shall bring you a tutorial on that in depth. So now guys we are through our, with our style. So guys I want to apply some hinge control for the broad part just to hold the loser. Now this that's our finished look. Guys it looks amazing. It's wow. Commendable work.
keep on subscribing, hit the red button at the bottom, ensure your bell is on for notifications, like my work, comment, share to your friends. Let's meet in the next tutorial guys. Thank you for watching.